Hello everyone. Uh, so this in this video we will continue from the last one, um, which is where I will show you how to create PO table automatically for all the worksheets. So um, in my last video I've showed you the code of how to create PO table um, like this. Uh, and in my previous video, this video actually, if you look at the uh, description, I've also shared the code uh, in the uh, description. So now let's combine both of them to see the magic. Um, so to do that, actually, first you start with what um, this code is. This is the code that I have, and I basically just copy and paste into a new sub. Um, the only difference is like I did rename it. It's longer, but it makes more sense because, because we're going to add the create uh, pivot table codes into it. So this is how it looked like um, up to here. So it's exactly where I have left. Um, and right before the next cell, you see the next cell, my next cell is actually still there. It's still the second last row. But then in between is actually basically, basically I copy the whole code, the create pivot table code, and then paste them in here, exactly here. So that's exactly the same. Um, the only difference is that I, I did add a comment so um, like this. So it's, it's in green. So it's not a line of code. It's just a comment. Uh, and uh, it's just basically reminding myself that the codes below are just adding in the creating pivot table code set. OK, so this is how it looks. Um, and uh, this is the um, master code. And then actually now let's just go run it. Um, let's show the code here. This is our master spreadsheet. This is our code. Oh, you know what? <laughs> you know what I forgot? I forgot to create this button. So let's go to the developer tab, insert the button, and then let's create a button there. And then um, just say um, combined action or like actually whatever. Uh, but the thing is like you do need to select the this one code and then go OK. And then basically here, just add whatever that makes sense. What I'm going to put here is split and create pivot table. Yeah, and then you jump out and then uh, click on it. And uh, here you go. So you can see all the tabs um, are here. Uh, it does have a customized um, pivot table because all the like every for every cell the content is different. Um, for every sheet the content is different. So the pivot table content is different as well. But then um, what matters is that we did have one pivot table for every single sheet that I want to have. And then actually here is where I want to highlight for you why um, I need this line of code on error resume la next. So for example, let's just look at this, uh, this one tab, um, which is um, a portion of the master. And you can see that actually for the country, we only have Canada and the US in this uh, database. Uh, but uh, like this, but then you remember like seeing in the master, we actually have multiple. We have Canada, US, and then we have Germany, and then we have UK as the countries. So uh, this is why we have to have this line of code. If we don't have this line of code, actually, when we come to this, spread, uh, this spreadsheet, for example, and then when our code run to this block, it's going to try to find pivot item Germany visible um, and pivot, table, uh, pivot item UK visible. And then it couldn't find here because we don't have Germany and UK here. And then you know what is actually going to show as an error or the, pivot, uh, the macro will stop. But then do we really care that if it does have Germany or not? Like we don't care as long as we have Canada, we're happy, right? So that is why uh, we add this line on the top. So it's telling macro that, you know what, when you run to here, even if you don't see Germany or UK or even US, just continue because we don't care. And then this is how I can just run this uh, pivot table so smoothly. Um, and uh, this is how you can also create the pivot table uh, automatically. 
And uh, as always, I'll paste this um, master code into the description. Um, and uh, that's all that I want to share with you. And I hope that you find it helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.